Jeremiah chapter 49 of the children of Ammon, Yahweh says, has Israel no sons? Has he no heir? Why then does Malcolm possess God and his people dwell in its cities? Therefore behold, the days come, says Yahweh, that I will cause an alarm of war to be heard against Rabbah of the children of Ammon, and it will become a desolate heap, and her daughters will be burned with fire. Then Israel will possess those who possess them, says Yahweh. Wail, Heshbon, for Ai is laid waste. Cry, you daughters of Rabbah, clothe yourself in sackcloth. Lament and run back and forth among the fences, for Malcolm will go into captivity, his priests and his princes together. Why do you boast in the valleys, your flowing valley, backsliding daughter? You trusted in her treasures, saying, Who will come to me? Behold, I will bring a terror on you, says the Lord, Yahweh of armies, from all who are around you. All of you will be driven completely out, and there will be no one to gather together the fugitives. That afterward I will reverse the captivity of the children of Ammon, says Yahweh. Of Edom, Yahweh of armies says, Is wisdom no more in Teman? Has counsel perished from the prudent? Has their wisdom vanished? Flee, turn back, dwell in the depths, inhabitants of Dedan, for I will bring the calamity of Esau on him when I visit him. If grape gatherers came to you, would they not leave some cleaning grapes? If thieves came by night, wouldn't they steal until they had enough? That I have made Esau bear, I have uncovered his secret places, and he will not be able to hide himself. His offspring is destroyed with his brothers and his neighbors, and he is no more. Leave your fatherless children. I will preserve them alive. Let your widows trust in me. For Yahweh says, Behold, they to whom it didn't pertain to drink of the cup will certainly drink, and I who will altogether go unpunished. You won't go unpunished, but you will surely drink. For I have sworn by myself, says Yahweh, that Basra will become an astonishment, a reproach, a waste, and a curse. All its cities will be perpetual wastes. I have heard news from Yahweh, and an ambassador is sent among the nations, saying, Gather yourselves together, come against her, rise up to the battle. For, behold, I have made you small among the nations, and despised among men. As for your terror, the pride of your heart has deceived you, or you who dwell in the clefts of the rock, who hold the height of the hill, though you should make your nest as high as the eagle, I will bring you down from there, says Yahweh. Edom will become an astonishment. Everyone who passes by it will be astonished and will hiss at all its plagues. As in the overthrow of Sodom and Gomorrah and its neighbor cities, says Yahweh, no man will dwell there, neither will any son of man live therein. Behold, you will come up like a lion from the pride of the Jordan against the strong habitation, for I will suddenly make them run away from it, and whoever is chosen, I will appoint him over it. For who is like me? Who will appoint me a time? Who is the shepherd who will stand before me? Therefore hear the counsel of Yahweh that he has taken against Edom, and his purposes that he has purposed against the inhabitants of Teman. Surely they will drag them away, the little ones of the flock. Surely he will make their habitation desolate over them. The earth trembles at the noise of their fall. There is a cry, the noise which is heard in the Red Sea. Behold, he will come up and fly as the eagle, and spread out his wings against Basra. The heart of the mighty men of Edom at that day will be as the heart of a woman in her pangs. Of Damascus, Hamath, and Arpad are confounded, for they have heard evil news. They have melted away. There is sorrow on the sea. It can be quiet. Damascus has grown feeble. She turns herself to flee, and trembling has seized her. Anguish and sorrows have taken hold of her, as of a woman in travail. How is the city of praise not forsaken, the city of my joy? Therefore her young men will fall in her streets, and all the men of war will be brought to silence in that day, says Yahweh of armies. I will kindle a fire in the wall of Damascus, and it will devour the palaces of Ben-Hadad, of Kedar, and of the kingdoms of Hazer, which Nebuchadnezzar king of Babylon struck. Yahweh says, Arise, go up to Kedar, and destroy the children of the east. They will take their tents and their flocks. They will carry away for themselves their curtains, all their vessels, and their camels, and they will cry to them, Terror on every side. Flee, wander far off. Dwell in the depths, you inhabitants of Hazer, says Yahweh, for Nebuchadnezzar king of Babylon has taken counsel against you, and has conceived a purpose against you. Arise, go up to a nation that is at ease, that dwells without care, says Yahweh, that has neither gates nor bars, that dwells alone. Their camels will be a booty, and the multitude of their livestock a plunder. I will scatter to all winds those who have the corners of their beards cut off, and I will bring their calamity from every side of them, says Yahweh. Hazor will be a dwelling place of jackals, a desolation forever. No man will dwell there, neither will any son of man live therein. Yahweh's word that came to Jeremiah the prophet concerning a lamb, in the beginning of the reign of Zedekiah king of Judah, saying, Yahweh of armies says, Behold, I will break the bow of the lamb, the chief of their might. I will bring on a lamb the four winds from the four quarters of the sky, and will scatter them toward all those winds. There will be no nation where the outcasts of the lamb will not come. I will cause a lamb to be dismayed before their enemies, and before those who seek their life. I will bring evil on them, even my fierce anger, says Yahweh, and I will send the sword after them, until I have consumed them. I will set my throne in a lamb, and will destroy from their king and princes, says Yahweh. 
that it will happen in the latter days that I will reverse the captivity of the Lamb, says Yahweh.